And then they pretty much always do that. Hey everybody, we've got a very special video for you today. This is going to be all about grooming. I'm gonna show you basically the three steps that we take in grooming any dog. Today with me, I've got Gunner. Gunner is getting ready to go home, so he's gonna get a quick spa treatment, if you will. Now those three things are, one, we're going to bathe him. Two, we're going to check his ears. And then three, we will finish by Trimming, tuning up his nails if they need it. I'm gonna show you what that looks like. Follow along. All right, I want you to be able to see. First of all, hey Gunner, how are you buddy? Um, we have a little raised platform. This is essentially a shower stall tile on the walls. We've got uh, eye bolts up here. Those are just to clip dogs to so they stay in the tub. This is just tile. Now, you may not build, I would assume you're not going to build a special dog tub in your house. You can use your shower, you can use your tub, you can use, you can bathe dogs outside. Um, I would guess if you are bathing dogs outside that your garden hose works about like mine and the water comes out cold. So that's not overly enjoyable. Here we have the ability to, you know, regulate temperature. We can do warm water that feels comfortable and start the bathing process. So I'm gonna show you first of all, we have this set up. Gunner here is a good boy. He's behaving. Some dogs are not, um, don't enjoy being here. So we actually have the way to do a little rear end tether. This just says here, stay put. They try and turn around, they really can't. Um, we'll leave that on him for now, but he's being really well behaved. This uh, spray nozzle has the ability to lock it down or just manually do it. It's got a lot of power, so we need to turn that, turn that spray power down just a little bit. Let's see here. Okay, so we're gonna start with warm water. We're going to get him wet, soaked all the way through. If you have a long haired dog, this is going to take more water. Um, it may also involve a little bit of brushing to get gnats or anything else out. Keep your head in the tub, sir. Get our head up on top. Kind of massaging the water in, gets the coat wet a little bit faster. Okay, we are wet. Now we're gonna take shampoo. This is dog specific shampoo. I know. You are all thinking it right now. What is the shampoo in that magic generic bottle he is using? And I'm gonna tell you, at standingstonesupply.com, you'll be able to find all of the things that we use and recommend. Um, we're working on getting that updated really quickly, but standingstonesupply.com, all of it will be on there, okay? But shampoo. You should be able to see him suds up a little bit, right? That's gonna be, um, meaning we're getting enough in where we need it. Good job, buddy. You're such a good boy. In this tub, I've got a little mat here to kind of help from a traction standpoint. And then this is pretty slick. I'm going to show you. We've got this side pretty well done. And by the way, this like little squirt bottle type thing is is really easy for getting the shampoo where you need it. But then that's the other purpose of these dual sided clips is we can switch them around. Look at that folks, now we've got the back side. All right. We're gonna soap this side up now. And Gunner wasn't by any means really dirty. He just smells like a dog. And we like dogs to smell fresh and clean when they go home. All right, so now we'll get up on top of his head. A couple questions you might be asking right now is how often should I do this? This is gonna be different for every dog, okay? So how dogs coats work specifically 
is they produce oils and those oils help keep their skin healthy and their hair healthy and their coat healthy and over bathing them is a bad thing. Get some up here by your head. So you don't want to, there's gonna be different numbers you hear from different people. Oh, don't bathe them more than once a month. Don't bathe them more than once every two weeks. It's, uh, you know, I've found that as long as we're not overly drying their coat, we can bathe them a little bit more often than that once a month category. Here, we try and keep the dogs um, getting baths about once every two weeks, give or take. Um, but more importantly, if they need it, it was getting a little cold and now a little warm. If they need it, guys, go ahead and give them a bath, but try and pick a shampoo or an option for the, the shampoo for them that's not going to be overly drying. And if you see that your dog is extremely dandruffy or has really dry skin, there are a couple different things that you can do from a homeopathic standpoint. A, stop bathing them as much, that's key. Um, but then the next thing would be fish oil has been shown to, to really help with that. So you can pick up a generic fish oil supplement for people and uh, give them one or two tablets. It's not something that's really gonna hurt them. It's just gonna help their coat, but definitely work them into that. Check it out. If you have questions, ask your vet. So we are just about rinsed here, buddy. And when, when I go through and I'm rinsing, I just check, is there any more sudsy stuff coming out of their hair? Nope. Don't see anything. Get up on top of your head. You're gonna stick your head in the tub a little bit better. Oh, they hate that. There you go, big guy. It's like with, uh, with Aiden, I'm like, all right, one, two, three, close your eyes, Wee. Okay, now. He is all clean. I'm gonna grab a couple towels. And folks, it's, it's incredible how much water their coats can really hold. So um, multiple towels a lot of times can be necessary. You dry your face off, dry your ears off. And this is a really good time, this dry here. This is a really good time to take a second and kind of do, that's really wet, I wonder why. A little once over. You know, we've got his head clean. We just check his mouth over. We see anything weird, no. While you're scrubbing them down and anything else, you could see, you could maybe find some of those random little bumps or nicks or bruises or, well, probably not bruises, but random nicks or cuts or things that may hide otherwise that, um, could potentially use some attention. So drying him now, just towel drying as best as we can. This is another place, <laughs> good job bud, that holds this little furry stuff down in their feet. That holds a ton of water. So you have to kind of dry it in between there, get their feet dry. Otherwise you just get water tracked all over the place. Or if they're outside, they go and step on the dirt, and then you got mud all over the place, so, as they hold a ton of water. Okay, back feet. Oh yeah, oh yeah, use your fingers and get a little massage. Most of the time the dogs love this. Good. All right, one more little towel. See if we can get you all the way dry. All right. Good, back foot back here, this leg. All right, we're pretty much dry. Now, if you've got a long haired dog, you could definitely take like a blow dryer at this point to help dry them out a little better or faster. Short haired dogs, um, usually dry up pretty quick. I'm gonna get rid of these and we're gonna move, and we're gonna move into uh, step number two with him, which is gonna actually be cleaning his ears. We're gonna do that right here. I'll show you what it looks like. Okay. 
Same thing applies with this, uh, grooming supplies. These are things we're adding to the store. So all of our recommendations will be there and go check it out. You're gonna take, you're gonna put some liquid in his ear. Most dogs don't overly love this, okay? But now we're just gonna sit, I'll show you on the other side here, but we're gonna sit and massage this. You get to get clear down into the ear canal area. We just put some of this cleaner in there. He says, oh, it itches just a little bit. You just take and massage that around and then we can do a little bit of flushing. If there's anything in there, it'll come out. And then they pretty much always do that. Once you put stuff in their ears, they shake their head. So be prepared. Come on, cotton rounds. Okay, so now I've got just a standard little cotton round. You can use cotton rounds or cotton balls. Um, go ahead and stick your finger down in there. Clean out anything that is in and allow his ear after that to dry on its own. If you have an ear infection or a yeast infection or a, a nasty kind of infection, a general groomer's ear cleaner is not going to help. It's actually gonna cause a lot of uh, discomfort for your pup because they're primarily, uh, well, most of them have some form of alcohol base to them to help the ears dry out. And if you have an ear infection, that feels really uncomfortable for the dog. So don't try and clean up an ear infection on your own, go to your vet. Next ear, big guy. Again, put a little bit down in there and then start that massage. As we're massaging, you can see this foams up pretty good. But clear down in here, everywhere, we're just fingers, thumbs, massaging that ear canal, and you can see, oh, we got an itchy spot. Yep, that feels good, doesn't it, bud? Okay, same thing. Oh, there it goes, round two. All right, so same thing here with the cotton round. Get that cleaned out. Sometimes you're gonna find a little bit of dirt, debris, and other grossness, that's why it's important to do this semi-regularly. But if you find that really nasty, and you can smell it, it's yeasty and stinky ear, um, you're probably gonna need more than what you can just do at home. Again, get as much out with the, the little swabs, let him shake it, okay. Now you can shake. He says, I've already shook, I'm done. I'm gonna do one more dry one just to help as dry as possible yeah that's looking good bud that's looking good bud okay and that concludes the ear clean so we have bathed shown how you do that all right enough sir okay not enough sir um we got the bath we have the ears cleaned uh, he, he didn't have any problems with it. We've kind of checked him over. I definitely haven't found anything, but now we're gonna move on to nails. Now, we did a video not too long ago uh, where I showed all of our dogs getting their nails trims and the differences, and you'll be able to see kind of which his nails apply to. It's gonna take a little bit. We're gonna work on them. I'll get the grinder, the nail trimmer, and we're gonna move into the other room onto the table. Follow along. So we're up here, we've got the table, we've shown in other videos basically how we trim nails and specifically that I personally like to utilize our table. Um, we're just gonna go ahead and get started with him. You also should check that video out because we show a lot of different nails and how to work through them. But I've got the camera tipped down here so that you should see as much as what's going on and uh, I will show you what his little nail trim looks like. Gunner's nails don't look perfect, like they definitely need a little bit of nail trimming. You need to come closer. And we'll go ahead and work on these. Stop, big guy. Stop. Aw, come on, man. Okay. That's more comfortable for you. We've got that undergrowth here. Overall, his nails aren't too bad, but the biggest thing that's bothering him probably is this undergrowth aspect of things. And we'll try and get that out of the way. No, 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 that's fine. That's fine, stand still. Come on. All right, same thing here on this one. A Little bit of undergrowth, trim around the outside. 
go to the next one. I'd say it's, uh, it's kind of the biggest thing that he's having issues with, which is pretty normal for a little bit, whoop, a little bit older dog. I'm gonna shorten his chain up one more bit because he's pulling just past the edge of where I can reach him. All right, back in here. Okay, got those. We're gonna take the grinder to that. I think it'll work a little better. They don't need much trimmed off. We're just gonna try and clean them up a little bit. This is good to do with your dogs and learn the differences. Um, here. This one's probably a little harder to see. Stranger angles. Good boy, Gunner. You're a good pup. Gunner's actually a shooter puppy and is owned by Stevie. I don't know if he wants to give you a... Um, and he lives at... No, I'm just joking. I don't know if he wants to give all of his info out, but um, we were able to do a breeding with Gunner here recently, so that's what he's been hanging out with, and we're finished up with all of that, and he's ready to roll. So now we'll come onto this back side, and let me see if I can get him turned just a little bit. Okay. Pick these up this way and we can see to clip the underside. Stand still, big guy. Same thing here in the back. A little more um, pulling, right? It's not 100% loving the old nail trim right now, which is fine. It's uh, more what you guys are gonna get to work with at home. A lot of dogs aren't perfect about this, but um, Okay, so these are all trimmed to the right length. We're gonna have to do a little bit of work with grinders. I'm gonna jump on these backside ones. Good, so those are all shorter. Now let's see what we can get done here. I don't know how often you've had your nails ground, bud, but we're gonna try it. This is not very often, I don't think. So this would be, let me see if I can, sometimes if you can get closer, if you can get closer, you can feel a little more comfortable about this. Can we see that okay? Probably not, but got it bent up backwards this way. Go ahead, there you go, much better, big guy. Get that underside ground, that's the key here. That's. Pretty much all his nails really needed. A little tune-up, a little shaping. Good, quicks are, quicks are all just barely exposed. Man, those look great. Let's go to the next one. Whoa, whoa. Come back this way, sir. Okay. Come back this way, sir. Um, this is a pretty common question. What grid are we using? I believe these are um, either one, like the 150 range. I'd have to look to see to be 100% sure. Making sure to grind that underside a little bit, simulate. A little more digging. If your dog pulls, fights a little bit, the key is not to not to let them go. Um, we've got to, within reason, be able to maintain and say, hey, once you quit pulling, then we can give you a little break. Good dog. And then we can come back to it. No, you're not gonna get out of this by pulling here. Good boy. Oop, good. Um, yeah. Okay, come back around here to the backside. Hey, oh, not so hot. Good 
And it looks like after this nail trim, this little grinder bit needs to be changed out. We're running on low as far as grind goes. Good. And last but not least, this back paw. Stop. Last one, kid. Good. All right. So he is all done. He is all done. Me make an adjustment. And I will climb down here with the guy. Hi everybody, thanks for watching. That is our three steps in grooming a dog, kind of showing exactly how we do it. Definitely if you have questions, throw it in the comments below. Thanks for watching. I'm the guy with the pink gun. This is Gunner, and we will see you in the next video. Thank mm -hmm. you.